So we've had this atmospheric river event and these atmospheric rivers are basically narrow corridors in the atmosphere in which there's a large amount of water vapor being transported. This particular one started off uh, in the Pacific Ocean, it kind of snuck around the northern end of the High Sierra into the Great Basin and into the Wasatch Range. The large scale setup for this is actually really interesting. If you go out near Hawaii, there's an there's a upper level trough there with southwesterly flow pulling moisture up out of the tropics that then curves and heads eastward towards Utah. But if you go to the, the northern Pacific, there's actually a trough with flow coming down out of the high latitudes with colder air. Those two airstreams are merging and they're coming in and they're both affecting our weather uh, during this uh, multi-day period. Well, what this means is we're getting into a little bit stormier pattern than we've had uh, early in the season for a few years. We haven't had very many good Novembers and Decembers the last few years. I think for skiers, it's a good thing. Uh, there could be some short-term pain in terms of avalanche conditions, but all in all, uh, I think building up a snowpack is what we're all looking for. This is the snow surface that we had when the, we had really cold weather and a few clear nights. It faceted the snow surface right across here. In a lot of our pits, the ECTs aren't propagating across like this one did because we haven't gotten much snow yet out of the storm. Here, there's a little bit more from windblown snow and there's also a little bit of a crust here. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. Either way, we've got a weak layer. We're getting a few signs of things to come. In, in other words, if we're going to put more snow on it, we're going to start seeing this propagate and uh, once the storm really develops, I bet we'll see some avalanches. That pit where uh, Mark Staples was digging, I think it's a little bit of a precursor to what's to come. You know, all we, it seems like we need is just these west winds to dump and pile up a little bit more uh, snow, creating a slab. Um, it seems like we have the weak layer, it's buried about 20 centimeters down. My guess is with uh, a little bit of new snow and some wind, uh, we should see some avalanches. 